Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Havanese. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Havanese Overview The Havanese is named after the city Havana, the capital of the Caribbean island of Cuba. After Columbus claimed Cuba for Spain in 1492, Spanish settlers began colonized. Spanish settlers brought Tenerife dogs to colonial Cuba in the early 1500s, where they slowly developed into the Havanese breed we know and love today. It is thought that the Bishan Tenerife and the Blanquito de la Habana created the Havanese dog. The Havanese is the national dog of Cuba and Cuba's only native breed. With Castro's revolution, some Cubans who fled to the United States brought their Havanese with them. A grand total of 11 Havanese dogs were brought to the United States in 1959. These canine refugees are the ancestors of most of the Havanese outside of Cuba today. They are a member of the Bishan family which includes Coton de Tullier, Bishan Fries and Bolognese. Havanese Club of America was founded in 1979, and the breed became recognized by the AKC in 1996. First, let's have a look at the pros. These dogs don't require a lot of activity to stay physically fit. Suitable for keeping even in a small apartment. Good choice for novice or first-time dog owners. Doesn't need much outdoor exercise, just daily walks, plus romps in a fenced yard makes a good watchdog that will alert their owners to any movement outside the home. They don't shed much and long coat which can be clipped short for easy maintenance. They're sociable breed that usually do well when it comes to meeting new people and new dogs. This breed loves to be around people and respond well to most training situations. The breed makes great pets for the older generation who may have limited mobility. Energetic and playful making them great family dogs. Havanese have a reputation for being relatively easy dogs to train. Sturdier than other breeds their size. It's now time to look at the cons. These smart little dogs have also got a reputation for being stubborn. Havanese are sometimes stereotyped as dogs that bark a lot. The focus on treats can lead to weight issues. May feel timid or shy if not socialized properly. Frequent brushing and combing, unless regularly clipped short might bark at strangers and harder to housebreak, can become anxious, so they don't like being left alone. He won't be up for joining you on your crazy long trail runs. Interesting facts, it is also known as Velcro dog, because it often sticks to the family members and follows them even to the bathroom. Havanese is used as therapy and assistance dog and to detect termites and mold. Charles Dickens, Timmy, and Queen Victoria, Chico and Golia, were proud owners of Havanese. Other famous owners include Barbara Walters, Venus Williams, Joan Rivers, Queen Anne, and Ernest Hemingway. Appearance, Havanese double-coated, is light, soft, silky, and does not shed easily. It is long and may be straight or wavy and fur looks fluffy but also flows easily with its movement. It comes in black, blue, cream, champagne, chocolate, fawn, gold, Havana Brown, Mahogany, Silver, and White. Havanese is a toy dog weighing between 7 to 13 pounds and its height ranges from 8.5 to 11.5 inches at the shoulder. Its body is longer than tall. It has drop ears and a tail that curls over the back. Generally, this breed matures at one year of age, although it reaches its full size around 6 to 8 months. Havanese dog typically lives from 14 to 16 years. Grooming, bathing every two to three weeks is a better frequency for preserving skin and coat health. You should always remove any knots or tangles before bath time as this could make it much worse. You will have to brush your pooch at least three to four times a week, sometimes even daily. If the Havanese is kept in a shorter trim, weekly brush outs are still preferred. When choosing a brush avoids a sharp end and go for a more rounded tip. Rake-type brushes should not be used on this breed. Always keep the areas around the eyes and ears trimmed. 
The hairs around the ear canal need to be cleared or could cause a buildup in debris, eventually causing an infection. You should also be brushing your dog's teeth around one to two times per week. A Havanese dog will need their nails trimmed around twice a month. Shedding. To the relief of many owners, Havanese does not shed very much at all. Havanese will shed a little but most of their loose hair will remain trapped in their double coat. Hence, owners will need to regularly brush their dogs to ensure their coat doesn't become matted and tangled. Because this breed has a double-layered coat, it grows more hair to keep itself warm for the winter. In the spring and fall, it sheds that hair. When kept in full coat, its hair can grow up to 8 inches in length. This requires daily brushing and weekly baths. If its fur is cut short, it will need to be clipped every 6 to 8 weeks and will need a bath every 2 weeks. Cost. On average a Havanese puppy will cost $1,100 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $650 and $1,800. The average price of a Havanese puppy in India is around 25,000 to 35,000 rupees. The price will vary depending on the breeder location, dog's bloodline, color, and age among other things. Exercise and trainability. To keep it healthy and happy, the Havanese needs moderate daily exercise. A 20 to 40 minute walk or an outdoor family time would be sufficient to expel its high energy. Basic obedience can easily be learned, although house training can be a bit challenging. This breed is smart and can be house trained much faster compared to other toy dogs. Just like every other dog, training at a young age is best to avoid developing bad habits. Havanese will happily compete in dog sports such as agility, freestyle, obedience, and flyball. Reward-based training is always a good way to grasp your dog's attention, but you mustn't solely focus on handing out food. This may confuse your pet from listening to your commands to just wanting the food. Intelligence. The Havanese is considered average intelligent for both obedience and working intelligence. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Coren, Havanese is ranked 45. Understanding of new commands 25 to 40 repetitions and obeys first command 50% of the time or better. Swimming. Most Havanese canines do like to swim in the water and they are fairly efficient swimmers as well. But some pooches may not be that good at swimming and thus it is very important to teach them how to swim properly before taking them to a pool, river, or near a beach. It's a good idea to forget about swimming until your Havanese reaches around one year old. Barking. Havanese are not known for being barkers or yappers and are commonly described as quiet dogs. They hardly bark, whine, mutter, grumble, growl or squeak. They mostly bark when they are guarding their homes and they detect something suspicious. Their bark is deeper than most toy dogs and sounds like it should come from much larger dogs. Weather and climate. Havanese canines have a decent tolerance to heat. They can easily survive in moderately warm and hot areas but still, they do require some kind of care and protection from their owners so as to live a bit more comfortably. These dogs have a mediocre tolerance to cold. They can comfortably reside in slightly cold and wintry areas but they are definitely not very well suited for highly chilly and low temperature regions. Friendliness. Havanese are easygoing, smart, and well-behaved fellows that do well as family dogs. Their friendly and good-natured disposition makes them excellent children's companions. However, as with other small-sized dogs, they may not do too well with small children and infant. Havanese is an immensely sociable breed that usually gets along with almost everyone. It is an amazing option for those people who want to raise two canines at the same time in their house. These canines are very warm and cordial with most other household pets including the cats. They are very much enjoying sharing the company of other animals whether it is canine or feline. Havanese are not a naturally aggressive breed and always very friendly towards strangers and children. They are happy to meet new people on their walks to the park and also like to get loads of belly rubs from them. Ensuring your Havanese is well socialized early on will result in a friendly, approachable dog with virtually zero aggression. Apartment friendly. The Havanese adapts well in almost all types of homes, from apartments to large homes with yards. Being an indoor dog, 
This breed is not suited to stay in the backyard, and is happiest around its human family. The Havanese is a wonderful breed for novice or first-time owners. These canines have fairly manageable maintenance needs, easy to train, don't shed very often and they are highly kind, sociable and friendly in nature. Any potential dog owner, whether a first-time or an experienced one, would be happy to have this amazing pooch. Separation anxiety. They don't like to be alone or away from their loved ones for a long period of time. Havanese can be left alone for a maximum of four hours and feel anxious after two hours of being alone. If they spend too much time alone on a daily basis, many negative behavioral health issues can develop. But 80% of Havanese start to feel alone and react after two hours and so can't be left alone at home for two to four hours. Guard, watchdog. Havanese can be a good watchdog but poor guard dog because of the small size. These pooches can effectively look after their homes through their bark in case of an intruder, burglar or trespasser. These small and cute canines are considered to be pretty efficient alarm dogs. Drooling. These pooches are not excessive droolers. They only drool when they are excited or after eating, drinking something, but apart from this, they don't slobber all that much. Health issues. Hip dysplasia occurs when the ball and socket of the hip joint fails to form properly. Patella luxation. Kneecaps that slip in and out of position is a common problem in small dogs. Cherry eye. Dogs with a cherry eye have a red-colored gland in the corner of their eye that looks a little like a cherry. Do you have a history with this breed? Let us know about it in the comments. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.